Okay, I am making a video to demonstrate the power of the NVIDIA Shield, aka the app called Cody. That's where the real power is, other than the video games. My voice is a little fucked up because I'm sick. Aside from that, I don't have a great voice anyway, so if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but fuck off. Uh, this is NVIDIA Shield Android TV. The best box I could ever recommend to anybody. It's fast, fluent. It has many different features, but a lot of stuff you have to work to do to add features for yourself. The one feature that comes with it is PC game streaming. It's a service that they have called GeForce Now, just like Netflix, but you're streaming video games instead of TV and movies. It is a wonderful feature, but an internet hog. Uh, they don't have a lot of games right now. Hopefully it gets better in the future. I can't promise anything. Aside from that, I would demonstrate that, but I'll do that in another video and show you how good that actually works. Because that, I should not get in trouble for copyright issues. Uh, for this video, this is going to be for Cody. And then I'll make another video showing other features. But this is my main goal right now. So this is Cody. Takes a little longer to load up when you first initially load it up, but I'm going to bypass that. This is my setup. Starts with favorites, next aired, anything that I put in my library. It shows the next time it airs on TV and what time, all that good stuff. This is where anything I add to my library, it automatically goes into this folder, TV shows. All my TV shows, not very many right now because I just started working on this. My movies. Movies isn't necessary, but you never know. Somebody else that comes over might want to watch something that you already watch. So I add it to my menu here. And apparently I'm showing two Hitman videos, which is bullshit. I'll have to see the problem about that later. Uh, back out of that. I got RT. RT America is the shit. Importantly, Redacted Tonight is the most thing I watch on RT, but I watch RT Live, American style, of course. They have other versions. Uh, it's the best news channel I've ever seen in my life, because at least it's real shit. They talk about real shit around the world. They're not greedy ass bastards that only talk about themselves. They're a damn fucking kitten versus important things in life. Other. American fucking news, they don't talk about what's important. They talk about shit like cats, dogs, YouTube videos that's popular for some fucking reason. Like, it's like you really give a shit. Anyway, Guinness. Guinness is the main app on, or add on, I'm sorry, for Cody. I recommend it to everybody. Everybody else would recommend it. It's the number one best app add on ever. And it shows movies and TV shows. On your TV shows, you can actually go to network. If you know what TV show you're looking for, you can search for it. If you don't, you can actually look by networks. Anytime it airs on cable TV, it comes on here within five minutes to an hour. It'll be on here. So what you do is you click on, let's say, CW. Let's say I want to watch... I would not really watch any of this shit, but let's say Flash. Where the fuck did it go? Apparently disappeared on me. Alright, Flash. So what I'll do is I'll click and I'll hold down. It might be different on a different device that you're using, but you want the context menu. And then I hit add to library. So when I add it to library, it goes to that section over here, but you have to set all this up to get this to do this. It's a little difficult. I'm a nerd, so unfortunately I figured it out pretty quick and easy. So when I click on this, boom, it would be under here. But I'm not going to add Flash because personally I wouldn't watch it. So all these, I did that exact same thing too. This is from Guinness. I have other sources, only a couple other sources, but... Guinness is the one I use for everything. It shows all the seasons, every episode. So to give you an example, let's 
the last episode ever aired was on 11-8-2015, obviously, it says right there. So when the next one comes out, it's going to update on here and it'll show the date of when it aired. Very nice feature. I would click on it. Actually, I'm going to for a second, but I can get in trouble for copyright, so I'm going to hurry up and take it off. Just to show you that it works, I have mine set up on auto, autoplay is what it's called. Okay. That was weird. For some reason, I clicked on it and it didn't show up on that one. But aside from that, I saw I went back to episode 5 instead of 6. And obviously, it's about ready to play. Let's try to get all the sources right now. Would mine be on autoplay? Boom. See, see that it works. But would mine be on autoplay? A little different. I don't recommend autoplay because it's not always going to work. But it can usually, without autoplay, it'll give you a list of links. And there's like sometimes 400 links. You're going to be able to watch whatever you click on with 400 links. Some of them only have 20 links. But out of that 20, you're going to be guaranteed to watch what you're trying to watch. So I'm going to back out of this. That's Guinness. All right, here's one channel. And then I have the Mutts Nuts. The Mutts Nuts, only for movies. One channel has TV episodes and movies. But Guinness is always my first. If they don't have what I'm looking for, I'll go to one channel. If for any reason neither of those guys have it, I'll go to Project Free TV. Aside from that, Mutt Nut, or Mutt's Nuts plays very good videos, and the quality is good, and it gets straight to the point. To give you a quick example, click on Movies, let it load, works like it's going to take a fucking second. But let's say I want to watch Straight Outta Compton. I wouldn't say it's a very good movie, but it's a movie, and I like If I click on it, boom, it automatically goes. You see how that Chinese came up? That's the downfall. Versus Guinness, if you pull this movie on Guinness, you can actually pick on different links, and some of them might have the Chinese, but some of them don't. So that's where you want to play with the links. If you don't want that damn Chinese up there, go to a different link. That would be that feature. Aside from that, I have sports. I added these links, they're different add-ons, or I'm sorry, these three links right here are the same add-on, but they have a different sources. So when I click on this one, it shows the same thing as those other three links, it gives you a list, football, basketball, the whole nine. Let's say I'm wanting to watch a hockey game. A hockey game works great on this, I always watch hockey, I don't watch too many other sports, but the other ones do work too. So tonight, actually I don't think my team's playing tonight, so I'll have to go to a different one. It shows you what time it's playing. Typically that should be 9.30 at night. I don't think hockey games, well, actually these are overseas shit, so they could be playing early morning. I'll scroll, uh, Right here, Chicago Blackhawks. It's going to be playing at 2030 military time. Up there, you notice it says 11:31. Well, that's because it's it's set for military time, but obviously it's not 2030 yet. But 2030, when I click on this, it's going to display these links. When I click on these links, some of them work, some of them don't. Some of them have shitty quality, some have good quality. You got to go through the links, and then you'll find the one that you want to watch. That's how you get sports. Very simple. Later on, I'll show you a video how to add this to your main page right here. It's called the main page. Same with UFC. UFC, I get live pay-per-view events whenever there's a good UFC live pay-per-view. And I want to watch it live. Sometimes I have card games and dice games set at my house. I want to play a paper, uh, UFC pay-per-view for people. People pay for that shit. They'll come over, they'll donate five, ten bucks each person, and that adds up. But meanwhile, I'm getting it free. If I want to be nice, I won't charge them. I'll just steal their money at poker or dice. Easy as that. 
Aside from that, there's another link right here with pay-per-view events. Not sure if this works yet. I haven't tested that one, but this one I have. When I click on it, boom, it gives me the list. These links do not work unless, of course, it's that time. If it's 1700 and it's that day that that airs, then as soon as I click on it, it should give me a link. Right now, it will not. When I click on it, it does nothing because obviously this has already aired. So it no longer works. But if I really want to watch that one, I can go here. And this is a link to a UFC pretty much archive. And I can watch any fight that I want. Give you an example, it's a three-parter, but the Ronda Rousey where she got her ass knocked out, which I love seeing, <coughs> would be link one, link two, link three. Link three would be the final fight. Link two would be basically prelims, shit like that. Link one, same thing, prelims, whatever. If I click on it, it's going to load. Boom, oh, starts playing. Copyright reasons, I'm going to hurry up next. Same thing with link three. Click on it. If I don't want to watch the prelims, I just want to watch her get her ass knocked out. Go straight to the source. She's feeling right. Yeah, I want to hear him shut it off, but apparently that was some shitty quality it looked like. Typically, it usually plays better. Maybe people aren't watching it right now. I don't fucking know. So maybe my internet sucks right now. I don't know. Pretty sure it's not my internet though. I have decent internet. So back out of this, I also have YouTube. I also have Google Chrome browser. I had to add Google Chrome browser because it doesn't come preloaded. Google Music, it comes preloaded. Shield Hub, that's where you get Android games. You can also, it displays the PC streaming games. Right here are my recent. Obviously, those two are the PC streaming games that I played. Buy and play. It's going to show, I guess, the PC streaming games. Uh, if I go up here, I click on this. I go to Android games, and this gives you a lit. Well, that's the Android games I have. So if I go to maybe shop. Yeah, if I go to shop. You go to featured, new releases, whatever, but all these are basically Android games. They do have some good games. It's getting better over the years, aka months now. Seems like things upgrade upgrade fairly quick. Dead Effect is the newest one. I don't have it loaded, but just to give you a, a show of what the graphics would look like, not too bad. It looked like that on NVIDIA Shield, not other Android devices, because other Android devices suck. Android Shield is the shit, whether it's the tablet or the Android TV box. I recommend the tablet, even though I haven't got it yet. It's on the way. But I've been reading the reviews. Everybody likes it. It plays good for games. It does. It's a powerhouse. If you're a power user, I recommend the video. Uh, it shows weather right here. Okay, mostly cloudy, 45. That's where I live. I click on it. It just gives you a small amount of information for the forecast for the week tomorrow what the fuck snow and wind fuck it's already gonna snow this sucks i love winter if you can't tell i'm being fucking sarcastic it fucking blows i hate Illinois. power i set this up but when i hit power i have the option for settings settings takes you to all the settings power pretty much quit it just backs out of cody if I go down here, I put this skin here, so I can go straight to the skin to customize this main screen. Notice it says marijuana in the background. I set that in there. It does not come with Cody. Cody probably would not do that because that's influencing drugs, a.k.a. marijuana is not a drug in my eyes, but it is in other people. <coughs> Why well, I don't have a Coke background, because I don't fucking do that garbage. If I wanted to pop pills, maybe I'd have a pill bottle background, but I don't do that garbage. Favorites. That was the beginning of my list. So when I click on favorites, this is all my favorites. I back out of that because it's a bunch of garbage. When I push up to widgets, it displays it like this. 
pretty nice feature. Uh, when I do my recommended, when I add these to my library, TV shows, movies, and stuff, I can actually click up. It goes to recently added, recommended, random. I'll go to recently added, and then it shows like this. For some reason, recently added is not really updating all the recently added. I don't know. It's, it's confusing to me right now, figuring it out. But obviously, it displays. Typically the latest like this should be the latest South Park when the next one comes out and I go to this feature It should be instead of 19.8 It'll show 19.9 Season 19 episode 9 House of Cards, I don't know why it's showing all these but what the fuck I rich just gonna do that because they want to be confusing The more I use this the better that feature I get Um same thing with my added movies to my library. Some add-ons, you cannot add them to your library. Like Guinness, it will. That's why I recommend Guinness. But not only that, Guinness is just the shit. The best thing out there in the world. Maybe not in the world. Over-exaggerating, but what the fuck ever. Um, aside from that, that's pretty much everything in a quick view. I will do other videos to show you how I set all this up. All that good stuff. It's very actually simple. Uh, let me show you real quick. These are add-ons. You got program add-on, video add-ons, music add-ons, blah, blah, blah. When I click on video add-ons, it gives me a list of video add-ons that I've added. There's over 2,000 fucking add-ons. It's a lot of add-ons. Not all of them's video. Some of them's program. Some of them's music. But there's a lot of add-ons for this. Some of them work. Some of them don't. They give you a little bit of porn. I don't personally care for porn, but other people do. That's the only reason why I have it on there, just to demonstrate that I can do it. I can get you pretty much anything you would want. Uh, animated, I like to watch. All right, Cartoon HD is not working, to give you an example. Maybe on a later update, it might start working again. I don't know what the fuck's up with that. Don't care. One of my favorites right now is Cartoon 8. I do watch cartoons. I'm a fucking 32-year-old dude that watch cartoons when i watch cartoons i like the old classics but aside from that dragon ball z i'm really into dragon ball z you can call it dumb gay whatever you want to call it but i think it's the motherfucking shit dub the anime is what i go on there there's other links to get dragon ball z but boom just to show you it has it on there this is one of my favorite places to go 291 episodes just for this one there is other Dragon Ball Z's. There's so many fucking Dragon Ball Z's. It's ungodly. But this has a lot of them. Uh, other add-ons. I got CBS News Live. It's cool. Whatever. I'm not going to go through the add-ons. But Concert Archive. It's not working right now. But when it does, it shows concerts. I don't believe it's going to work. It might now. I don't know. And does not really look like it. I'm not going to waste too much more time. Just wanted to give you an example of what Cody's all about. Uh, program add-ons. These are all programs. I can back my shit up so the next time I fuck my shit up, I can restore a backup. But it does not work. i got to figure that out more because whenever I do the restore... Because I use custom images, like to give you an example, this Google Chrome image, I put that on there myself. Went on Google and found that image and put it on here. Uh, another image I put is right there, sports. I had to put that image on this main page and notice the background. I had to do that too. I did that same as going on Google. Pulled that from Google. Put it into the right folder, blah, blah, blah. Set it up that way. Uh, RT. I didn't like the one they had, so I changed it to that one. That one looks much nicer. I like that a lot. Same with this movies. It was a different one. I did not like it, so I went online, got that image, boom. Same as the background. So that's just to get an example of how you can customize it to the max. All these little links down here, I, I had to put these on here. They're called short links. So that way you don't have to go to add-ons scroll through all your add-ons just to find one simple fucking thing these are everything that i would use daily weekly whatever it may be 
All right, that's going to be the end of this video. Feel free to comment below. Do what you need to. This is really for personal use for my friends or people that might be interested in this. I can hook them up. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Have a wonderful day.